Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from Checkit.com here with the Cinema 4D tutorial on Seductive Sunday. <laughs> this is just going to be a quick tutorial because I know people that click this video really just want to learn how to animate the camera quick and they don't want me to BS and talk for a long time. So this is going to be a very basic tutorial, guys. And uh, just so it keeps it nice and short, please give the video a like because it helps out so much. I'll also include the project file for this tutorial at checkit.com slash downloads. It's all for free, so make sure you go there. Also, make sure you leave a comment because I leave all my favorite comments at the end of the video. But uh, this isn't really about how I created the objects or the background or anything like that. This was actually done in After Effects, all those flares and the color correction was done in After Effects. But this tutorial is just about the camera animation. So, Let's jump into that now. I'm going to bring up Cinema 4D and right away you'll notice that I already have a very basic animation set up here. You'll see how the text is just being randomly affected here. Very simple and keyframed and such. I can do a different tutorial on that, but for right now let's just focus on animating the camera around this text. So what we want to do is first just select this camera icon right here and just click on camera. This is a basic tutorial. I won't get into the other types of cameras. So what you'll notice is there's this little black box right here. This is how you toggle from your camera view and your editing view. So to explain that difference, I'm going to just use the scroll wheel to zoom out. I'm going to use the three key on the keyboard and I'm just going to move around and you'll see that there's this camera right here. That is what we want to animate. So I can click this little black box to go into that camera and anywhere I move when I have this white box selected now is how the camera is going to animate or where it's going to end up. So let's make sure that our timeline indicator is set all the way to the left and let's get our first shot set up. So I'm going to use the three key I'm going to use the one key to move around and I'm also just going to use the two key to zoom in a little bit and uh, I am, this is at 1080p guys so these little black boxes represent what is being seen and what is not being seen whatever is like let's say I zoom in here now that top of the C and all of this bottom is being cut off so we want to make sure that it fits within there so that's what she said let's zoom out and get a nice angle that looks really cool to me Alright, so once we have an angle that we like, making sure that that white box is selected, we'll hit this Record Active Objects button. That's the keyframing. So, let's click it, and you'll notice that there is a orange dot here now, a little box. That is the keyframe. So now what we want to do is move forward and go all the way to the end, and what you have to keep in mind, guys, is 180 frames is 6 seconds, because we're at 30 frames per second. 180 divided by 30 is 6. So 6 seconds. That's a little bit of math there for you. But now all that we have to do once our timeline indicator is set to where we want to go next is hit 3, move the camera, and hit the keyframe again. And now, look at that. Very basic animation. So that's basically the tutorial, but I want to show you guys something. Let's say we want the camera to be zoomed out a little bit by the time it gets right here. So if we unclick this and go into our editing mode, then we zoom out and we use the three to go above, maybe zoom out some more, use the one to move over. You'll notice that it's just a straight line and you can actually move these points right here and it'll affect the way the camera goes on the track. But I'm going to hit controller command Z there to undo that but if we want to set another keyframe all we have to do is hit the keyframe button move the camera away and we can just move the point back a little bit look at that it's just another way to edit the keyframe so the tutorial wasn't too crazy short but another thing is let's say you don't like where you put this point let's go back into our camera view in order to override it like you see how it's a little bit low all you have to do to override it is move the camera, let's zoom in a little bit and move it up, and there we go, and we're just going to hit the keyframe again, boom, and now that is our final animation, so thanks for watching guys, I hope you guys learned something, I know a lot of you guys asked for this tutorial, this was just the basics, if you want a more advanced tutorial I can give it to you, just uh, leave it in the comments. And also, if you want to know how to do this random effector, make sure you leave that in the comments, too. Uh, don't forget to leave a like, and leave your like a cool comment, because it could end up at the end of the next video. And if you left a comment on the last video, make sure you stay tuned and watch to the end to see if your comment made it. 
So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you this Tuesday. Peace.